Hello everyone, my name is Yakke and welcome back to It Moves. I'm not sure what chapter we're on, I think we're starting on chapter 4, I'm not sure. Anyways, what's this? That's lo that looks like a statue. A painted glass depicts some religious man I guess. Oh. Oh, what is happening? Earthquake? I don't know. Oh. What, what is this? We are probably in a church. What the fuck is that? A painted glass depicts a scene from the Bible. Yeah, we're definitely in a church. Oh. I can't see. Oh, that's a door. Oh, now I see it. Oh, alright, alright. What's this? Another door. What the hell is in here? Skulls? What was that? Another one. And another one. A big jar is filled with heads of some sort. How lovely. A fucking brain. Various jars with disgusting stuff inside. Yeah, you don't say. Creepy ass place. I was about to say that is beautiful, but that head is not beautiful. Far from it. It's a big pool, but I'd rather not use it. <laughs> I wonder why. Spider webs. The spider that lives in this net is nowhere to be seen. Maybe we should be thankful for that. Another earthquake. Or something. Oh, yeah, let's go downstairs into the basement. Because that seems like a good idea. Wait, hold on. You're kidding me. Someone has been hanging cats. Fuck, that's not cool. Poor cats. Oh, shit. Well, we're stuck. How do we get out of here? What is going on? What is going on? What is that? Uh, darkness. That's what it is. The fuck? Don't even want to know what that is. What the hell? Are we walking in a circle? They look the same. Yeah, I think we're walking in a circle. I'm just gonna keep walking this way. Something's different. All their mouths are closed. Well... Not really sure what I'm supposed to do besides walking right. So let's keep doing that. 
long hallway. Stop that. I really do not like that. Hold on a second. Yep, there we go. What the fuck is that sound? Not cool. Nope! Mm, don't fucking think so! Oh! Well, we're screwed. What the hell? Oh, darkness, again. That scream did not sound good. My greatest fear were realized in the winter. The day grew short, and the longer nights merely provided the wrench with more opportunities. It was a difficult time for my family. My grandmother, a wonderfully kind and gentle woman, had deteriorated greatly since the death of my grandfather. My mother was trying her best to keep her in the community as long as possible. However, dementia is a cruel and uh, degenerative illness, robbing a person of their memories one day at a time. Soon she recognized none of us, and it became clear that she would need to be moved from her house to a nursing home. That's sad. Before she could be moved, my grandmother had a particularly difficult few th nights, and my mother decided that she would stay with her. As much as I loved my grandmother, and felt nothing but anguish at her illness. To this day, I feel guilty that my first thoughts were not of her, but of what my nightly visitors may do, should it become aware of my mother's absence. Oh fuck. Her presence being the one thing that... The one thing which I was sure was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach. I rushed home from school that day and immediately wrenched the bed sheets and mattress from the lower, lower bunk. Removing all of the slats and placing an old desk, a chest of drawers, and some chairs which we kept in a cupboard where the bottom bunk used to be. I told my father I was making an office which he found it adorable. But I would be damned if I'd give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. As darkness approached, I lay there knowing my mother was not in the house. I did not know what to do. My only impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix which I had seen there before. I can make sense out of that. While my family were not very religious, at that age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Understandable. Although fearful and anxious, while gripping the crucifix under my pillow tightly in one hand, sleep eventually came, and as I drifted off to dream, I hoped that I would awaken in the morning without incidents. Unfortunately, that night was the most terrifying of all. That fucking sucks. Chapter 5, Urban Explorer Awesome, I love urban exploring. I want to do that when I have time. I should have time this summer, but right now I'm working. Yes, I want to save. And I will end this episode here. So, thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. But until then, have a good day.